we know she's not coming back and we can't save Gabby or Mandy, but Gabby and Mandy, we represent them and we hope that they can save more lives. A bipartisan united showing as the Utah Senate approved a bill aimed at curbing the number of domestic violence deaths. Yeah, as senators cast their votes today, two women were top of mind. Their families sitting nearby. Daniel Woodruff live at the Capitol with this emotional story. Daniel? Yeah, the families of Gabby Petito and Mandy Maine, both who died through intimate partner violence, came here to the Capitol today to lend their support for this bill that they hope will save others. 28 yay votes, zero nay votes. A unanimous vote followed by a moment of silence for two women, victims of domestic violence. Thank you, Utah. You guys are leading the way. Gabby Petito's mother believes if Senate Bill 117 had been in force when her daughter was stopped by police in Moab, she would still be alive. The bill requires officers to ask certain questions known as a lethality assessment to determine if a domestic violence victim's life is in danger. If she had answered yes to any of those questions, which I believe she would have, we would have had a different outcome. Also on hand for the vote, the family of Mandy Maine, who was murdered by her ex-husband last year in Taylorsville. Thank you for being vulnerable, for sharing your stories. Mandy is the cousin of Utah Lieutenant Governor Deidre Henderson. We, with this bill, are trying to very narrowly target the biggest problem we have right now in the state with intimate partner violence, and that is to prevent intimate partner homicide. The bill also creates a database for police to identify if who they're dealing with has been involved in domestic violence before. Gabby Petito's parents hope other states will follow suit. And there's lives at stake now, and there's, you know, there's a serious issue with domestic violence. If it's gonna save a life, I'll do whatever I can. That bill now heads to the Utah House of Representatives where it's also expected to pass. Mark.